I know just about every mile marker on this road. In these small towns, I see my family, our love for Texas. But with every mile that passes, I'm filled with sorrow, anger, but also hope and resilience. Where I'm going, I've seen horrors you couldn't imagine. And it's at the end of this drive, in a community that has been through unthinkable pain, where I find my strength. It hasn't been easy, but I've lived the American dream. My parents were immigrants to this country. My mother died before my first birthday. Through God's grace, he put another woman in my path that would be mom. They taught us if you believe in something, you work for it. And that's why I went into law and public service, San Antonio City Council, the State House, and the State Senate, to fix problems, build things, to help out and fight for those who need it most. But on May 24th, 2022, the world stopped. An awful scene playing out today in Texas. We've got to do something now. When you look at how this keeps happening, and I have had that. We need change in this country, because if we don't learn from this, then what are we? Out of one of the darkest days, the people of Uvalde became more than constituents. They became family. We joined together to demand change. Do something now! Do something now! But we saw firsthand how our leaders only cared about maintaining power. I'm a proud gun owner and believer in the Second Amendment. But after 19 children and two teachers died, the Republicans wouldn't even allow us an opportunity to talk about ways to protect our kids. It's why we have to do something now. But what happened in Uvalde wasn't just about guns. It was about neglect, the neglect of rural Texas, the neglect of the systems in this state that are supposed to keep us safe. That failure hasn't been isolated. I'm running against Ted Cruz because everything that we've seen in this state has been nothing but taking care of rich people while the poor people, the working class, get screwed over. We've seen bribery and corruption that is appalling, political stunts that are tragic, and when our senator goes to Cancun while Texans are fighting for their lives in a winter storm, that's just indefensible. 800 people died because people that are elected to office in this state that would rather enrich big electrical gas supply corporations than to go help people. I want to live in a state that's not burning books. I want to live in a state working class families would be able to get health care. I want to live in a state that doesn't tell women what to do with their bodies. I want to live in a state that doesn't blame some poor immigrant looking for a dream for every educational problem and health care problem and infrastructure problem because we should know better. It's time we turn frustration into action. If you want to make a better Texas, then this campaign is for you. My father used to tell me, si trabajas duro en este país, este país trabajará por ti. And that's what I promise to do. Work hard at fixing the real problems of today. My name is Roland Gutierrez, proud Texan, and I'm running for United States Senate.